Hello, hello, good morning. Well, it's morning in LA. <laughs> How are you guys? Good to see you guys. I'm Dr. Leticia Wright from The Right Place Television Show. I'm the host of The Right Place Television Show. I am a media consultant and a crowdfunding consultant. And uh, we're here to talk about media today. We're talking about the media trends that you can use for your business. What's going on in media? How does it work? And uh, just kind of getting rid of some myths. So I'm gonna have a great q and A. I I wanna thank you replay viewers. I know a lot of people are at lunch. I like to do lot Facebook Lives at lunch and I know a lot of you guys are at lunch. So if you're watching this later, thank you so much. I mean, time is life, right? Time is life and uh, that you're here is awesome. Listen, and if this is good for you, I want you touch that little person with the plus sign and share it out because there was a couple of your friends that are trying to get on shows trying to get things done and they may not be having as much luck so you know share this out with your friends so here's what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the media trends that you can use for your business I got a couple of questions from the personality game this right here is the children's version I'm going to open the box up and answer some questions and get to know you so if you're on the mainstream I'll be able to see your answers some of you will be in uh, different uh, rooms Facebook rooms and I might not be able to see you but you guys can answer later and put it in the put it in the sidebar I can see it a little bit later so what you know why deal with media and what am I talking about when I say media because a lot of people are kind of confused about that um, if you can hear me give me a quick thumbs up just so I can make sure the audio is good and I don't have the audio on silent <laughs> so I just want to make sure everybody's there uh, they can hear what I have to say um, the deal is media is considered radio tv to a certain extent social media but i'm not just talking about social media it's so much bigger than that um uh, yeah my 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 live plants want to get into the, i'm very proud of this plant but it's growing over the chair <laughs> anyway uh media is radio tv newspapers blogs to a certain extent social media because youtube is social media media um, you having a YouTube channel is really makes a big deal makes a difference um, and you need to be a part of that you need to be part of that world now a lot of people are just thinking oh I just need to get interviews and that is good you do need to get interviews and I invite you to get interviews and get write-ups and all of that but I am talking about a little bit more than that so the big trends in media right now there's two things kind of happening one is collaboration in other words, instead of me just doing this by myself, collaborating with some of you and doing things with some of you, that's a big deal. And the reason why it's a big deal and the reason why it works well is that you get both audiences. You get the audience of the two people combined. You can cross pollinate. Yes, that's, I'm at home. My phone's ringing. I'm one of the last people with a landline. I know um, that I never answer. <laughs> Hey, everybody has a cell phone. I think people under 20 don't even have landlines. They're like, what's what's a landline? So that's my uh, thing saying, leave a message. Uh, but anyway, so you need to have media that works for you. Here's the deal. Collaborations work really, really well. Find somebody that you like, somebody that you like to work with, and do something together. This is the summer of collaborations. You're going to see a lot of people working together on projects. It's a lot of fun. It's easy to do. It's easy to find a way that it works for you and it works for them. So it doesn't have to be all, you know, this other person's going to get all the benefit and you're not going to get any benefit. That's not really what we're talking about. We're talking about something where it's fun for everybody and everybody can enjoy it, including you. So think about a collaboration. Think about five people that you'd like to work with that you know you could do a great collaboration with okay that's that's all part part of the deal okay so collaborations the other thing is um, and I'm just gonna make this a core a, a short short Facebook live I have my trusty book those of you who know me know what this is <laughs> Got it down there so I wouldn't forget anything. There's a lot of things running through my mind. I don't want to forget. 
and uh, pitching. Okay, so pitching has changed. Pitching is when you you contact the um, media, you contact the radio show, you contact the blog, you contact the newspaper, and give them some information about you and say you would be a great person for them to interview or for them to have on their show. So it has changed a little bit. It's changed a little bit. Um, we used to do a lot of pitching via phone because that was a great way to do it. The, the people could hear you. They could hear if you'd be great on radio and TV. They could hear the enthusiasm. A lot of people can hear uh, even if you're, you know, you're, you're fake or that you won't be a good fit for their particular show. I know this is like white balancing. Uh, <laughs> so it gets this really bright right here. And when I get, you know, when I move around, then it changes. Anyway, what could I say? That's my, that's my iPhone for you. Um, I don't think people with, with, uh, galaxies have white balance issues. Anyway, you would call on the phone. They could hear you. It was all good. Now it's really, really hard to get people on the phone. I mean, people don't even want to answer the phone. They just want to text. I mean, you know, the, you could be texting somebody and call them and they won't pick up the phone. You ever had that happen? Somebody was just telling me about that out loud. They were like, I just texted you five minutes ago. Why won't you answer the phone? So you, you know, phone is, is touchy. It's really tough. I mean, phone has got to be something really good, really solid before people will really connect with you on the phone. So how do you pitch? Email pitches work really well. And email pitches work well because not only can you give the information, but you can give all of your contact information. Sometimes if you're pitching somebody via social media, you cannot really you know, give them all the information they need. They might like what they see, but then they didn't get back in touch with you. You know, all that kind of stuff. So email works really well. And there's two things that are gonna happen. Either you, they're gonna respond because they're interested or they're gonna completely ignore you. You're not gonna get an email back going, why did you call me? Why did you email me? I can't believe you, you know, you're horrible. You're not gonna get that. You're just gonna get ignored. If the pitch is off, if the pitch doesn't match what they're looking for. Because the thing is, if there are leaks, uh, leaks, links in there, they can go back. Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. I know you can hear me. If they, <laughs> so keep them coming. Um, if you link back in there to all of your social media, you link back to your webpage, they can click and they can see, and then they can get more of you. You can link to a YouTube channel and they can hear you, they can see you. They're gonna do their homework. They're going to do their homework and they're going to uh, really kind of find out more about you. So email pitching really works. And if you don't get an answer in 90 days, pitch them again. You don't know what's happening on the other side. Maybe they book someone who's just so similar to you that they feel like they covered the topic already. So that means that you just need to pitch them again. Pitch them again, okay? So those are the two things. If that was good for you, please click that little guy and share this message out. I want as many people to use the media for their benefit as they can. Um, this shirt, somebody just asked me about that, um, is I like the, uh, I don't know if you guys like this, not that little thing. But this is called the cold shoulder cut. I really, really like that. Hey, uh, Lua, Lu, hey, Lula, Lula Parker. She has her own clothing line. How are you? How are you? Um, Lula Roe. That, that Lula Roe is not her name. That's her brand. She wants you guys to know that. But you guys should follow her. Check her out. The clothes are really cute. But anyway, what? So you're into design. What do you think? I like the. They call it the cold shoulder. Thing. I got this from Gwynny B, but I, I like it. It's got long sleeves, but I like this part hanging out. That's like just enough for me. And thank you for sharing. Thank you for sharing. Um, so anyway, that's, that's it. So for those of you who can give me feedback, I can see you and all this good stuff. We're about to play Personality. Now, Personality is a great game. This is the children's version. There is an adult version. Don't worry, it's not dirty. It's just adult um, version of it where you ask questions to get to know other people better. So I want to ask you the questions. We used to play and take rounds and all that kind of stuff. But I want to ask you a question, okay? So you're going to put it in there. The shirt is cute. Hey, I got the shirt is cute from the fashion expert. So thank you so much. So here's my question for you guys. 
What has changed the most other than technology since you were a child and why? Has medicine changed the most? Have cars changed the most? Have TV and radio changed the most? Have, has fashion changed the most? Or has farming changed the most? So I don't know what your answer would be, but for me, of course, TV and uh, radio have changed the most because now we've gone from TV sets to everything is mobile. I mean, everything that you do in media, you need to make it so that people can consume it on their cell phone because that's where everybody is. A lot of people are not buying desktops anymore. They will buy a laptop, and a lot of people do a lot of their business on their phone, especially if they're really good at it. I think that as a population, I mean, we do have an older population. I do think cell phones need to have some bigger buttons and some bigger fonts and some bigger things, but you know, maybe, maybe that will happen. You can make them larger yourself, I hear, but of course I don't know how to do it. So what about you? Put that in the uh, chat box. Give me some hearts and thumbs. Put it in the chat box. What has changed the most other than technology since you were a child and why? Hey, Regina Davis, good to see you. I want to know what has changed the most other than technology since you were a child and why? Is it medicine? Medicine has changed a lot too. For those of you that don't know, I'm Dr. Leticia Wright because I'm actually a physician. And medicine has changed a lot, but it's due to technology and, and, and not much else. Uh, one of the cool things that has changed in medicine, I think, is that um, you have all of these people who are able to come up with uh, cures and new inventions. I mean, there's a kid who found a way to very cheaply figure out how to diagnose cancer. A huge company bought it for, you know, a billion dollars. I don't I don't know how much they sold it for. He he made a lot of money selling it to them, but I noticed that company hasn't put that out on the market for people. Makes you wonder, makes you wonder. Okay. So, Regina, please put in there, you guys put in there for you what has changed the most other than technology, since you were a child. And the, and the choices are medicine, cars, TV and radio, fashion, or farming. I only know one, one or two people that know a lot about farming. And um, so I'm not sure about farming. Cars, have cars really changed a lot since, you know, last 50 years? They're still mostly on petrol. I don't know if you guys know, but India has decided that by 2025 or something, some year that's really, really close, they are going to have all electric cars. Like there will be no cars running on gasoline in India. And India is a huge continent with billions and billions of people. That's going to be amazing for their environment. That's gonna be absolutely amazing for the environment. But I think here in America, I mean, we're all excited about Tesla, but you know, it's not that many people driving electric cars. It's just, you know, I don't think that cars have changed all that much. Uh, what about fashion? Do you think fashion has changed? Or we had a fashion expert on here. Or do fashions just recycle? I don't know. I know what I like. You guys have to figure out what you like. And then farming. Uh, maybe because you can have seeds that are privatized now. I don't know. I don't know. Seeds that are. Anyway, I'd love to see your answer. So, uh, Ms. Parker says TV. Now people believe that there's a strong reality in it. Well, you know, I think I think reality TV is. Uh, at first, people were like, eh, but it's reality TV is a thing. Um, now that anybody can make a show, it's very, very different. So no longer do you have to go to a network to make a show. If you really, really want to have a show, you can go on YouTube and, you know, make your episodes, do your show. I mean, there's nothing to stop you. There's nothing to stop you. You could have a fashion show every week. Have your girls model your stuff. Have your contact information. You know, talk about how great the fabrics are. Talk about how great it is to to have this and how having your own business in fashion is a great opportunity i mean i don't know how much more fun it could be i think you know you you get to go places we met at a very interesting place you get to meet people and you know you could have a show every week so 
um, yeah, I think, you know, TV, but I do think TV is on the phone now, you know, because I, I watched, uh, I binged watched Game of Thrones on my phone because I was like really busy traveling. Um, I couldn't understand what was going on. I had to go back to season one and then um, it just seemed like the only time I had to watch it is when I was, you know, sitting in the airport or I was in travel or waiting for a ride or whatever, whatever. So I wound up getting the HBO for my phone and just watching it there. And now you got Netflix has some killer series. Hulu's got some original stuff. Amazon Prime's got some original stuff. It's really, really uh, important, really, really different. So anyway, the whole deal is that you can, um, you know, you can do whatever you want in TV. All right, well, this has been a really short, quick, quick uh, Facebook Live. Just wanted to share that with you. Uh, what's going on with Right Place TV? We are booking some more people for the summer shows. Uh, you can give me a contact, hit me up. I'll, I'll send you some information about that. Uh, I'm doing a call on the 24th, which is uh, for the Media Icon Program, how to grow your name, grow your niche, raise your prices, raise your profits, and become a household name in your niche. So I'm doing that. And then of course, I'm always doing some crowdfunding stuff. So I always have free education for that. But this was this was media day. Oh, and this is my kick butt pin. I don't know if you know guys like that. I love this pin. My kick butt pin. Thank you for the thumbs up. My kick butt pin that I'm using today. Good to see you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll hit you back up next week for Facebook live lunch. Remember, ignoring one's conscience is neither safe nor right. And I'll see you next time.